Alright, I uh, just wanted to do a quick update on uh, the marble machine. Uh, not much has changed, as you can probably tell. Well, maybe not, but um, I've added this little ramp here, and then I'll eventually get another track or another uh, selector like I have up here, which uh, goes back and forth. And it's just dropping in the jar for now. So you can see we're fully loaded up with marbles. And uh, it's actually operating a lot better now because I'm running it from the power supply I built. So we'll go ahead and flip it on. Okay, so now nothing's happening and we're not holding pressure, but uh, that's something I've got a air pressure release over here and that switch goes to this tank. Um, I don't know if those were in there in the last video or not. Okay, um, so what I've got is um, this blue switch goes to, um, it actually goes to that actuator there and engages this drive, which um, actuates these two uh, valves that go to the two cylinders over there. So if I were to flip this over like that, It just keeps doing that, and I'm thinking I might use that with an automatic, um, like automatic steps that are kind of uh, angled. I've seen people do that with their ball machines. Um, so you can see with that steadily going, uh, the air pressure is between 10 and 20, and it'll slowly rise. It actually has enough air to do it. Um, but that's why I added this over here. You can flip that, and now those four pumps over there are also going to the, uh, the air circuit. Which, that's kind of a bad thing sometimes. If those are pumping, and the pressure switch here is off, or it's like that, it might not have enough, a low enough air pressure to engage the, uh, pressure switch, because, uh, I'm going to try to find a different design or maybe try to use a large actuator, maybe different, a different, um, uh, how say, you know, instead of the rubber band, some kind of other thing to make it go back. So you can see now they're kind of halfway doing their thing. I'll shut that off, release the pressure, and we'll turn this back on. Alright, so now for the marble, uh, this yellow switch is going to this actuator, which is controlled by the valve over here. Um, Alright, so that's on now. I'll go ahead and this over here. So they're going to be released one at a time. And get scooped up here. So it's right up. So one marble will go that way. One gets dropped in the jar. So this next one goes. Well, every once in a while it'll send two balls down the same track. And that track works 90% of the time. I've got to maybe put some sides here to keep it from bouncing off and going away. But most of the time it actually lands perfectly and, and rides it out. Alright, come on now. So that's that, and like I said, it's it's performing a lot better. Uh, I was running all these motors off of uh, a train regulator, which really didn't have enough power to do what I'm trying to do here. So it's actually running off the 12 volt rail of a PC power supply inside the power supply there, and it's actually getting uh... ten point five i think i need more of a load on the five volt rail I've, i read that i need to have at least uh... half an amp load uh... for the power supply um... the way i've got it tied in um... power comes into this to here which goes to the multimeter to the banana plugs and then it also goes to wires here which goes to a an old style uh... lego nine volt connector goes to a long 9 volt connector to the, I think, what is it, the Power Series uh, LEGO, the new um, extension cable. 
it's fed in here to all the motors there. Uh, eventually the electrical system will probably be a lot more complicated. I'll pro I want to try to find a way that I can run these motors off of uh, this PLC I have here instead of using Lego I, I can have 140 inputs and outputs um, and be able to, to do a lot more with it uh, for what I want to do with it and plus it's a lot more fun to program it in ladder logic which is really used in real world op applications not dissing Lego I just don't have a NXT I've still got a uh, RCX 2.0 um, I suppose that's it for this video um, I'll be doing a lot more work on it. I might have uh, some sensors and things like that, and I'll have probably two more tracks coming off that side. So, uh, give me your ideas. I'm probably gonna, I might rebuild it and do something better, taller, something like that. But I might do another project in between. I'm not sure. So, um, upload your own videos, and thanks for watching.